I had a very successful event in Singapore. I was there for 10 days. A lot of you showed your affection on me wherever I went, whether it was the streets of Singapore, whether it was at the restaurants, the malls, and more particularly at the events. I wish to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. My team felt that I had never done a full-fledged event in Abu Dhabi and they wanted me to do so because we have a lot of friends there. So the next event would be in Abu Dhabi on the 5th of October. Those desirous of participating in that event, drop a message at the WhatsApp number given below or send a mail at the email given. My team will get in touch with you. Hey guys, welcome back to Be Rich. Before we get into the video, I wanted to bring to your notice that my uncles Vinod Srinivasan, Anand Srinivasan and I have rolled out a Substack, which is basically a blog slash newsletter where we're going to post our original research onto it. And we've analyzed macroeconomic trends. And a lot of you know, my uncle Anand Srinivasan and I regularly write for the Hindu. And these articles are also going to be made available for you in the Substack. The link is moat moat investing dot substack dot com you'll find it in the description and in the video right now um we hope you go check it out we've put a lot of time and effort into it and please give us comments and feedback on what you read thank you hi everyone welcome back to be rich yes shashwat is not here today is something very interesting i've been doing this classes 52 week challenge on instagram and in that group we've been talking about pe and valuations and why pe is important at the same time understanding how to use PE is also important. So I wanted to pull in Anand today to explain to you guys in a masterclass how to look at PE and how you should study it with the company and not just look at PE as a number and invest based on just numbers, but it is important to look at the business and the company. Case in point is everyone knows, we have been uh, talking about considering ITC and ITC it is a PE of I think around 28, while something like Amaraj battery, which is there, at also a closer PE range, we feel it's a diamond needle. So as a new investor, many of you might be wondering if PE is such an important thing, how come ITC is okay when it's 30 and Amaraj battery, which is at 28, is considered diamond. So I thought Anand can explain this to you guys. So then you understand this. So Anand. There are two different industries altogether. Hmm. One is making batteries. Hmm. The other is making everything under the sun. Hmm. So a company that makes batteries, mm. especially for two wheelers and four wheelers, mm. and is going to make batteries for EVs, mm. he is basically a OEM supplier. Mm. And of course, some people who are buying replacement markets, mm. the light portion of that mm. will buy some Amron or Excite. These are the two competitors. Mm. Most of the middle class, the lower classes will go buy a unorganized sector battery. Mm. So his battery is limited. Mm. Market size is limited. Mm. It's basically OEM market. So his mm. margins are capped. Mm. And when the resale market is very small because you will buy a battery once in five years in the new car. Mm. So in the entire life of battery, you may buy two batteries in your car. Mm. So the market size is small. Mm. And therefore, and his product range is limited. Mm. So therefore, there is only so much it you can do. Mm. You cannot do 60 times, 70 times P. Mm. And there are only two players in that group. One is Excite and one is Amar Raja. Mm. And Excite is more costly than Amar Raja. This mm. is one. Mm. On the other hand, mm. you have an ITC, which is a behemoth. Mm. ITC is primarily 80% uh, of its profit, not 80% of its turnover, mm. is coming from cigarettes. Mm. And that money is being pumped into other businesses mm. to grow the businesses. Mm. If you don't realize, ITC is already India's largest food company. Mm. That is leading in foods. It is the bigger than Hindustan Unilever. Mm. It's bigger than Nestle. Mm. But as a even packaged foods is India's second or third largest packaged food company. Mm. You think this is where it ends? It doesn't end there. Mm. They make something called agarbatis and matchsticks. Mm. Every time you light a match, you need ITC. He has 90% of the market share. Mm. It's a declining market, but he has a huge market share. Mm. And from there, he has gone to Agarbattis. Mm. As long as Hindu religion is there, the Agarbattis are there. Mm. There is only one guy called Cycle Brand, which is competing with him in the organized sector. Mm. Otherwise, it's all an organized sector and he is growing. Mm. And there are scented uh, Agarbattis. Mm. He is number one. Mm. He is really growing very fast. Mm. And then there is something now called Doop. Mm. Dupe is a separate category mm. and it looks like he is exporting that. Mm. 
and it's in some sticks mm. which will have a worldwide market yes itc has is one of india's largest export companies mm. you will not know that he is number 3 in prawn exports mm. so he is going to in really now he is talking of concentrating on this mangal deep mm. and selling it across the globe as there are more indians living abroad mm. this incense sticks are going to do well across the globe mm. we are looking at that is a group by itself mm. then he has a packaging division mm. which is a big packaging he does packaging for everything for himself mm. plus sells packaging outside mm. that packaging has become class notes mm. and paper craft mm. which is the biggest manufacturer of organized notebooks mm. in india mm. so we are talking plus mm. itc hotels is going to be listed separately mm. so you're getting a hotel company you're getting a paper company you're getting a class note company mm. you're getting all this mm. and all the fmcg companies which is hot you should compare this with mm. are trading at 50 times earnings 60 times earnings mm. our friend is trading at 30 times earnings mm. so you compare apples with apples mm. and oranges with oranges mm. don't mix mm. apples and oranges mm. and say because this orange is diamond mm. why is the apple not diamond mm. these are two different things all together okay so itc will continue to grow mm. and the itc itself expects Mm. maybe at best 10 years from now mm. there could be a ban on cigarettes mm. so they will be diversified very well diversified mm. Mm. and for all this you are getting sir an idc has yesterday hit a 52 week high mm. so it's doing very well mm. so if i own bajaj auto for mm. an example i am telling you mm. i still make money because amar raja sells to bajaj auto mm. tata motors all these companies mm. Amar Raja sells. Mm. Amar Raja is not a global supplier yet. Mm. He is using Chinese technology to make mm. electric batteries. Mm. He is not independently invented uh, any product, product or battery. He is mm. just copying Chinese technology and building it. Mm. Whereas ITC's products are all locally made, mm. exported globally. Mm. So we are not. It's like comparing chalk and cheese. Mm. No, no mm. comparison. Mm. and itc has perpetual cash flow mm. because most of its businesses have become profitable mm. they are returning profits mm. and he is either number 1 number 2 or number 3 in all these branches mm. so his pricing power will increase mm. his margins will increase mm. and he will start to not only cigarettes others will start making money mm. so he'll generate more and more free cash flow mm. and continue to grow in the long term okay. whereas the growth of this company mm. when compared to itc Mm. is capped it may grow mm. but it will grow at a slower pace mm. itc is a behemoth mm. this is what is the difference okay so when you're talking about growth what you mean is earnings per share right no ah the yeah, first what is the addressable market mm. earnings per share is profits okay you have to add what is the addressable market for that company okay the addressable market of amar raj battery is, is very limited it is Mm. electric two wheelers electric four wheelers mm. when it becomes big already sales have declined in that correct because the government stopped giving freebies the sales have declined in it mm. it may come five years 10 years from now mm. but it is mainly lead acid batteries mm. and the replacement market is capped everything is small mm. and there is unbranded competition correct here this guy is good with no competition is just continuing to grow okay there's a big difference Okay, so now if we're talking about apple to apple comparison, then why do you feel Nestle, which is even bigger than ITC, is so overvalued? Yeah, but you see, what is the earnings of Nestle? Hmm. It is sixty times earnings. So I can buy Nestle at eighteen times. Yeah, earnings. but they also have a huge market. No, no, no. They have only India market at sixty times earnings. Hmm. The parent of Nestle, hmm. which owns seventy percent of the Indian Nestle, hmm. itself is available at sixteen times earnings. Okay. You want to buy Nestle? Go abroad and buy Nestle. Why are you buying it here? Okay, so the main reason why comparing a Hindustan Unilever or comparing Nestle to ITC is because they're not even they're only a subset of the parent company, while ITC is the actual parent mm-hmm. company. Yes. So if if you are going to look at valuations and comparison, you should look at the parent companies. And if you're interested in Unilever and uh, Nestle, you are better off investigating outside India yeah. the parent. There are three big companies: mm. Unilever, mm. Procter and Gamble. Mm. and the third one is like hmm and there are other smaller ones hmm but these are the three big daddies hmm because of this market and this potentiality which is there what you're saying 
in this whatever you laid out very nicely in a, this a food uh, sector is this the reason main reason tatas also think of entering this tatas have so, already entered it. See, yes. tatas have similar to itc but it is not in one company hmm. tatas have multiple companies in food chains hmm. tatas dominate through tata consumer hmm. which is actually taking salt from tata chemicals and selling it in tata consumer hmm. and they are growing the tata consumer soulful and all that brand hmm. but more than and that's what you are watching correct but what you don't realize is that hmm. there is another company called indian hotels hmm. which is a behemoth hmm. and they have a flight kitchen yes now what itc is trying to do in bringing food on zomato and swiggy hmm. taj will do it one day hmm. and taj is also layering now Mm. they have a ginger they have a gateway they have vivanta and then they have taj mm. and they have a flight kitchen correct what's called taj flight kitchen mm. they have starbucks mm. but they they don't have an fmcg company per se no tata it's consumer tata consumer would be so they are the fmcg group. so that they star uh, groceries and all the products which are manufacturing are all coming under tata Yeah, no, no. Tata consumers, Tata consumers, and consumer. they have their own noodle brand now, right? Yes, all that is in Tata consumers. Okay. In Star, what they are doing is hmm. they are creating their own brand, hmm. like Walmart. Like Walmart. Hmm. That's a private label brand which will give them more money. Which falls under which? Which falls under Trent? Trent, which is at hundred times earnings. Okay. So in bits and pieces, well, ITC is more consolidated. ITC is one company, hmm. but negative is because of cigarette. Okay. So, but in the long run, running now that you're seeing Tata doing this, will they give ITC a run for its money? They are, but in pieces again. Hmm. See, ITC is in biscuits. Hmm. These guys are not there in biscuits. Hmm. The Tata hotels are much bigger than the ITC the hotels. Hmm. Tata salt is bigger than any yes. food product. Hmm. Tata tea is bigger than ITC. Hmm. These are categories. Hmm. That is why Tata is also at seventy times earnings. Correct. Oh. So, based on all this, how should now we laid it out that we should consider apples to apples and compare not apples, apples to apples, to apples and, and not oranges, oranges to apples? Yes. So, even within apples, price to earnings should also should be looked at how debt and price to earnings. Debt and price to earnings. Okay. So, I hope this kind of clarifies to you guys on why, when we say price to earnings should be looked at, you just cannot look at it separately. that you need to look at it holistically and see what the company is doing and the sector it is in the kind of products it's selling and see what is the potentiality for this company to continue doing what it's doing and how far can it grow and how far can it expand in that spectrum it's sitting in when you look at it like that amaraj batteries and itc and you see the potentiality of both of them that is why itc is still a great company when you see it amongst its peers and even if you're thinking of tatas are entering the sector they have a long way to go and there is no specific tata fmcg company per se it is broken in pieces like what anand has said so if you look at it that way itc has a clear advantage right now standing in the market and that is what we are taking and it's based on tata has hmm. a fmcg company hmm. in fact they have two they have one in trent parts hmm. of trent yes the star hypermarket business yes and they have the con tata consumer hmm. which has tata starbucks and everything hmm. But the point is, the what is the valuation in Trent is hundred times earnings. Correct. Tata consumer is seventy times earnings. Yeah. And uh, ITC is just thirty times. Earnings. Correct. So if you look at it like that, also ITC is has a first mover advantage compared to Tata. And right it's now. cheaper because and it's cheaper. Indian hotels is much bigger. Yes. If Tata has consolidated everything, hmm. that Star Bazaar portion. Hmm. The Star Bazaar portion is merged into Tata Consumer, hmm. and Tata Consumer and Indian hotels are working together. Hmm. that is one portion of itc hmm. but that company is trading at 100 times earnings hmm. itc is at 30 times earnings great so hope this gave you some clarity i'm sure lots of you have lots of questions about what we spoke about please do drop it in the comments below or come and catch me on my instagram channel which i've created 52 week challenge channel over there you can definitely drop in your questions and feedback and we will try and answer these for you so you may understand it Of course this video is not meant for all expert investors like Alvin it is meant for all like people like me and Anna and, and uh, no don't don't get started there okay so all you novices who are like me wondering what the hell we're talking about we're trying to get you guys on board so you can join in the conversation and have some fun 
So thanks for watching the video. Do like it and share it and send it to friends and family as always. Do comment down below and give us a big thumbs up and uh, definitely pull in Anand more to take these kind of master classes about very specific topics like price to earnings to discuss it further as we look at valuations as we're going forward in our 52 week challenge. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one soon. Bye. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.